Corel's latest version of PaintShop Pro. X6 breaks ground by making photo editing faster, easier, and more enjoyable. Let me introduce you to the PaintShop Pro interface and where to find its most useful tools. The PaintShop Pro interface has three workspaces, Manage, Adjust, and Edit, that reflect the way we most commonly work with photos. The Manage workspace is where you'll usually get started since it's where you import, organize, and manage your photos. I'll come back here in a moment and give you some detail. The second tab opens the Adjust workspace. This is where you have quick access to the most commonly used tools to adjust your photos. When you're ready to start editing in detail or making photo composites, illustrations, or other creations, you'll be using the Edit workspace. Here you'll find a full set of advanced professional level tools, commands, and effects. Now let's go back to the Manage workspace and I'll show you how to get started in earnest. So, to get photos into PaintShop Pro, use the navigation palette in the upper left area and click Browse More Folders. Then, locate and select the folder or folders you want to work with. As soon as I select a folder in the navigator, thumbnails of all my photos inside are displayed. Now I can do lots of tasks while in the Manage workspace, such as tag photos by dragging and dropping keywords or adding new ones, and tagging people. I can then sort and group photos using these categories. There's even a map view where you can tag photos with physical locations. I can switch my view from thumbnail mode to preview mode which displays the rest of my photos in a tray that gets carried into the other workspaces as part of the organizer palette. Let's select a particular photo and take a look at the adjust workspace. The adjust workspace is a great uncluttered area for quick and basic edits using the adjust tools on the left and adding effects by using the instant effects palette on the right. If you're just getting started in photo editing, or if you only have a few minutes to edit some photos before you share them, this is the workspace to use. Now let's move to the more feature-rich Edit Workspace. As you can see, the Edit Workspace has many more tools for photo editing, many of them usually found only in much more expensive applications. The Organizer palette with my photo tray is still at the bottom. The Tools toolbar is on the far left. Tool options change when a different tool is selected. Along the top are menu items. Along the right is my materials palette where I choose colors, textures, patterns, and gradients. Underneath that is my layers palette where I can stack images, change their order, opacity, and how they blend together. I can precisely organize my edits and effects in this way. This is very useful for making photo composites, posters, or other projects. You can find tutorials on layers in the Discovery Center under the Help menu, Video Tutorials. On the far right is a very important area for new users. The Learning Center covers over 50 popular features and tools and works in two ways, both of which will help you learn how to use PaintShop Pro's many features. First, you can select any tool in the toolbar and instructions on how to use that tool will be displayed. Second, you can also search out a task in the Learning Center and PaintShop Pro will both highlight the tool you'll need to use and show you how to use it. For example, this photo needs some serious adjustments. Another category in the Learning Center is Retouch and Restore. At the bottom of this list is Fade Correction, which says it restores faded photos with just one click. Let's try that out. Wow, that was fast and easy. PaintShop Pro has many professional level tools. Curves is a good example of a favorite tool for people looking for precise color control in their photo editing. I'll go to Adjust, Brightness and Contrast, Curves, and use it to fix the blue color cast on this photo. In the Channel drop list, choose Blue and bring down the center point a ways to lower the amount of blue in the photo. Now we have a much clearer and natural colored photo. You can also see the before and after images. Alongside the professional level tools are a lot of fun, easy features and effects, such as picture frames. Although you'll find this feature under the image menu, here's how you can again use a learning center to add a picture frame. For more help and learning options, go to the help menu. You'll find product help, the user guide, and a link to a wide range of video tutorials that cover general photography and photo editing ideas for Corel PaintShop Pro. You can also access your account to check the latest membership benefits. So there you are. A quick intro to get you started with Corel PaintShop Pro X6. If you've yet to get a copy and want to try it out for free, 
go to corel.com forward slash paint shop pro.